In my time playing Minecraft on this channel, I've beaten the Ender Dragon many times. First, I did it by only using melons. Then I did it by only walking in a straight line. Well, kind of. And then there was that one time I did it without jumping. And the time I did it without even walking. There was even the time I beat the Ender Dragon while only being able to breathe underwater. But of all the dragon battles we've had on this channel, none will be quite as easy as the one we're about to have today. And also before this video begins, I just have to give a shout out to my second channel. I, I'm posting videos weekly over there and I just posted probably the weirdest video I've ever made. So go check that out. The link will be in the description. And this video shout out is coming from TikTok. Thank you to this person, you're an absolute legend. G'day guys, my name is Wadzi and welcome back to episode 7 of Hardcore Minecraft. Before this episode starts, I just need to say I've been doing some more mining for ancient debris. I mean, as you can see behind me, we have one of the best finds I've got. Four ancient debris this close together. It's insane. So where we ended off the last episode, we were mining for ancient debris. I must say, since then, I've done a fair bit of mining for this stuff. I now have eight in my inventory here, but also another seven in my chest at home. And that means I now now have enough ancient debris to get the full set of uh, netherite tools so I will never have to mine for ancient debris again. So now I'm gonna quickly make my way home. I mean, as you all know, today's the day we finally go and fight the dragon. So I don't want to mess around too much. I just want to get straight into it. All right, it's good to be back home. Now let's put our eight more ancient debris away. We have 15 now. And we also have a lot of ender pearls, as you can see, which is perfect because this is exactly what we need to go beat this dragon. Let's just craft 10 eyes of ender and let's let's get on our way. I feel like I don't really need to do any prepping. I've got everything I'm going to need, which is just my bow. That's that's all I'm going to need. Yeah, let's throw this ender pearl and see where we have to go. All right, out that way. All right, and just like we've done many, many times before, we're back on the hunt for a stronghold. And we're still going this way. All right, this is where Horse Z is going to have to stay because we need to go out into the ocean. Oh, we've already passed it. So the stronghold must be around here somewhere. All right, where the hell is this thing? Come on. I almost think it's under, under here. There it is. Down there. Down we go. Oh, hang on. Dude, it's already here. We're in. We're in the stronghold. Where are we going? Oh, okay. Well, this was easy. Hello, silverfish. And we're in. We are once again in a stronghold room. All right, it's time to do it. Time to beat the Ender Dragon in hardcore Minecraft. All right, let's do this. There's not really much we have to worry about besides falling into the void or just some other bullshit. Perfect. I love these spawns. My favorite spawns are underground. All right, let's get it, dragon. This is gonna feel good. My first fight with the dragon almost ever with nothing holding me back, you know? on fire. Oh, I'm just, I'm too good. I'm insane. One crystal to go, and this fight will be over in seconds. There we go. Just me and the dragon. Let's do this, bud. Look at that damage. Almost halfway done already. I'm telling you, the dragon is the easiest thing in all of Minecraft. All you need is an infinity bow, and it's a free win. I almost shot myself before I shot this dragon. The dragon is less than half health. This thing is such a pussy. Look how high it is right now. You know what? I might as well just fight this enderman instead. Pause. Let's rewind that for a second. Take a note from the last video in this series, this is meant to be the final boss in this game, and when it hits me, it does half a heart of damage. Okay, yeah, fully enchanted netherite really does make it impossible to die. A 
I mean, is this even exciting at this point? Like, I, is this meant to be a challenge? All right, one more hit. I'll just send it out. Hail Marys at this point. One of these is going to hit eventually. Come on. Come on, dragon. Oh, there we go. Another day, another dragon. All right, most importantly, let's get all of our XP. Oh, yes. Give me all of it. 74 levels. And also, this time I'm definitely not going to forget to get my dragon egg. There it is, the dragon egg. Now, somewhere around here, we should have a portal to go to the, what do you call that? The end cities or whatever. I could do that now, but I think I'm gonna leave that for another episode. Next episode, we'll go in there and we'll get an elytra. For now, let's just be happy with our victory against the dragon. So now I had finally beaten the ender dragon in my hardcore world and you know, Pretty anticlimactic, right? But please don't leave the video because now we can use all the levels we got from the dragon and put it towards getting the perfect set of netherite tools. Ah, isn't it beautiful? The dragon egg. Now I've shown you how easy the dragon really is. I want to finish off my um, perfect set of netherite equipment. So let's smelt up our ancient debris here. All right, we've got all our netherite scrap smelted now. Now we can make three more netherite ingots. But three is actually the perfect number because we're here today to make a shovel, an axe, and what else are we making? Oh, of course, the best one. Yeah, that's right. The netherite hoe. We've got it. So now, similar to last episode, I'm on the mission to deck out all these tools as best I can. So we're gonna head back to the villager trading and I'll try my holy... How the hell did you get here? Um, I'll try my best to make it exciting. I'll go through it as quick as possible because I know I've done so much enchanting and just grinding. All right, so obviously the first enchantment I'm after since I'm enchanting tools here is efficiency. Efficiency four, even if an efficiency five trade if I can manage to get that. Impaling two, not quite. All right, yet another genius railway plan and that's the wrong villager. No, wait, wait. Perfect. Go. Nice. All right, welcome to your new home, bud. Now let's do some business. I now realize I've made the mistake of coming out here to trade with villagers before I even enchanted this stuff to begin Stupid. with. Bro, what? I've been trading like 30 something emeralds to get Unbreaking 3. We finally got an Unbreaking 3 trade straight up. 12 emeralds. I'm gonna take three of these. Nice. Oh my god. Finally. This is so expensive, but it's going to be so worth it. Efficiency 5, 62 emeralds. But, but, means we only need one book per tool. Perfect. All right, I've really been on my emerald grind. One, two, that's three efficiency 5 books for all these tools. All right, and the last thing for now is we want to pick up four mending books, which is going to cost us 48 emeralds. So let's just quickly grind out a few more emeralds. All right, four more mending books. From here, I think I'll be good to just go back home and start combining some books with some items. All right, I'm back in the enchantment dungeon and I'm here to try and enchant this stuff. And I think because I have efficiency five guaranteed on my pickaxe due to the book, I'm actually going to use this pickaxe on a grindstone and then I'm going to try and find a uh, looting three. What was I saying? Looting? I meant fortune. Maybe I'll just try and see. Okay, no. All right, let's just go ahead and do that. I'm breaking three on our hoe. Efficiency... Efficiency, efficiency, picking up on a little bit of a theme. All right, piercing three, I'll do that. There we go, fortune three. It is most important to have on the pickaxe, so I'm gonna do that over the axe, because I'm sure, yeah, all these are gonna pop up with fortune three now, but we'll do the pickaxe first. Sweet, now I'm back on the hunt to get fortune on the others. <laughs> Straight away, fortune three on the axe. Okay, and we get a bunch of other good stuff as well. There we go, fortune three on the shovel. And now I'll start combining items. So first things first, the pickaxe, I think. Make it efficiency five, this unbreaking three book, and this mending book. And now we can rename this item to the Wawa pickaxe. This is our new Wawa pickaxe. This one here is a phony. And I actually wanna add sharpness. Yeah, I wanna add sharpness five to our axe as well, because why not? And finally, mending. Oh, I'm out, I don't have enough levels. And now we have the Wawa Axe. Sick. 
Alrighty, I'm back and it's time to do the shovel. So let's just get straight into it. Um, efficiency five, of course, and of course, mending. And that's it, the Wawa shovel. Final tool is just this hoe, the Wawa hoe. Um, the shovel, I don't know what Fortune 3 does. Please, someone tell me what Fortune 3 does on a shovel. And just like that, we have every single tool perfectly enchanted, almost to the point that we will never have to enchant ever again. I'm sorry for putting so much of this enchanting stuff in the videos recently, but I've had so much fun obsessing over this game and trying to become as overpowered as possible, and we're finally at a point in the game where we don't have to worry about tools and equipment anymore. I feel like an absolute Minecraft god. I interrupt this video to let you guys know that halfway through making this video, a new version of the Snap Snapshot got released, which changed the way that you actually create netherite tools, and the timing could not be worse. Alright, so there was another update to the latest snapshot, and I thought I would share it with you guys, since I recently got the full set of netherite tools, and how it actually works is by using this smithing table here. If you put the tool in, and the netherite ingot, you get the pickaxe, and you get to keep your enchantments. I spent all that time fully enchanting my netherite armor, tools, weapons. If I had just waited for this part of the snapshot, I would have saved so much time. Oh snap, I forgot I had the bad omen effect. I accidentally just started a raid. Oh snap. I've been exploring and I've just found myself a pillager outpost. What up, fellas? It's me. What's up? What's in here, huh? What you got for me? Yuck. I do not want any of that loot. Oh no. What have I done? What have I done? Well, this is about to be the easiest raid that I've ever done. What's this dude doing? He really tried to go for my villagers, huh? In fact, I really should protect my villagers if I'm going to be doing this. He saved my villagers. What the hell? Oh, hell no. What the hell is that thing? No! Oh, he only does a harder damage, that's fine. Stay away from my villagers, you stupid pillagers. Oh, that was a bar. Let's go, witch. What the hell is that thing? What the hell? Nah, what? He's got no chill. Get off that thing. My carrots! They've ruined my carrots! No! They appear to be missing two raiders. I don't I don't exactly know where they are right now. Wait, what is this? What is this? This is where you guys have been this whole time, huh? There's so much going on right now. We did it! We beat the raid! I don't feel like I won though. And just like that, we have beaten a raid. That was ridiculous. I definitely did not intend for that to happen. Alright, and from all that, we managed to get ourselves five totems of undying, which are cool to have, and 28 emeralds. But that's not even why I came over here in the first place. But while we have this effect, the hero of the village effect, we may as well make use of it. Alright, so as you can see here, if I go around and trade with these villagers, they've started giving me really good deals. Like, really good deals. Like, only 10 carrots for an emerald. So let's let's go uh, see if we can get a bunch of emeralds. Alright, now we're about to get some serious emeralds. Go on ahead and chop down a bunch of trees. Okay, wow. My inventory is just getting filled with stuff. I don't want all this chain mail and stuff. It's so loud in here. Oh, it's so loud. Okay, so I've fully abused all the trades with my villagers and I've managed to get myself another four stacks of emeralds as well as a bunch of chain mail armor and stone tools I really do not want. But I think that's enough of abusing trades with my 100 villagers. The whole reason I actually came over here before the whole raid was to name this dog. I got literally tens of thousands of comments on what to name this dog right here. And 
Look, the winner will probably not surprise you. I got so many of the exact same comment that I just, I really could not go past it. So, that's right. I have decided to name my dog... I have decided to name my dog Jeff. What 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 do you think about that, Jeff? My name is Jeff. Haha, <laughs> right? Sick name, right? Yeah. So from Jeff and I, we hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. And if you did, make sure to subscribe because in the next episode, we're going to be on the hunt to get our very first Elytra in hardcore Minecraft. So that's going to be exciting and you're not going to want to miss it. Again, thanks for watching this video right until the end. And I'll catch you in the next one. Cheers. What was that? You've just finished watching the video and you don't know what to watch anymore. Well, why not head over to my second channel, Wad Tui, where I post wacky vlogs and stuff and awesome videos. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm just self-promoting, that's all. Hope you enjoyed the video.